Hi, this is uh, Steve from Ultraceps Color Separation Software. And I'm often asked complicated questions about Photoshop and color separations, but sometimes I'm asked relatively simple ones. Like, how can I print a photograph on a t-shirt using just one color? In this case, white ink. Now, while that doesn't always come out too good, uh, you know, if you want to do like a grayscale image on a t-shirt, you're better off doing a grayscale separation where you have multiple grays, a uh, white and a black or a very, very dark gray at the end. Uh, but sometimes you'll need to just do it in white ink for one reason or another. And there's a right way and there's a wrong way. Actually, there's a couple right ways to do it. And I'm going to show you a correct way and a wrong way right now. Now I'll go to a duplicate of the image and what most printers will do is they will go to image mode and turn this image into a grayscale and then invert it. Okay, and that and they'll just simply take this single layer inverted grayscale image and print that to film and print their shirts with it. The problem is is that this contains kind of too much gray in the lighter values and it doesn't have enough contrast to really look good on the shirt. Okay, and I'm going to prove that to you now. Now, let's take this gray channel and let's duplicate the channel. We'll, and we'll just call it gray copy. Now we're going to double click the gray copy channel. We're going to turn it into a spot color. Okay, we're going to make it the color white and the solidity we're going to put at 100%. Okay, so now we have a spot channel of white ink for our uh, grayscale image. Now what we want to do is to create a black background for it, which is going to simulate the t-shirt. So let's create a new, another new spot channel. And we already have this set as color black, as you can see here. And we'll name it black background or whatever and make your solidity at 100%. And now what you want to do is you want to fill your background channel with black. Okay, so you can do that via keyboard shortcut right there by hitting Alt and Delete on Windows or Command uh, Delete on Mac. And now we're going to move the white ink copy of our inverted image below the background. Okay, and as you can see, there's very, very little contrast. This is basically how it's going to print on your black shirt with just white ink. It's going to look like a, a blob of ink, and I don't think you or your customer is going to be too happy about it. Now, here's the way to fix it. What you're going to do is you're going to select that channel called Gray Copy, or you could rename it. It really doesn't matter. And then we're going to go to Image, Adjust, Levels. Okay? And we're going to move the middle and the right slider to the left a little bit. Now what that's going to do is that's going to bring some of the contrast back to the image. We'll move that a little bit there and we'll move that a little bit there. And you can see that there's an enormous difference. If we turn the preview off and on, that's how we had it before the levels adjustment and that's how we have it off. And now in order to make sure that our solid areas print a little bit heavier. We want to take the left slider here and drag it a little bit to the right. You know, maybe just up to 30 or wherever. Okay, and that is just going to affect the more solid portions of the of the piece of artwork when it when it's output to film. And now click OK. And now you have a usable one color uh, white image that can be printed to a black shirt or, you know, a navy shirt, uh, a red shirt, a dark green shirt. You could change this uh, background uh, color to anything you want to get an effect of uh, how it's going to look on that particular color shirt. Now to image this to film, you could simply output this single channel or you can make it easier on yourself and you could do a select all and copy of your spot channel. Okay, now we're going to go to File, New. Now, Photoshop will 
automatically have grayscale selected, the background color of white, and it will be the exact size of the content that you just copied to your clipboard. Click OK, and now choose Paste. And what we have now is a layer that contains the channel from the previous document. So all this information in this channel here, this gray copy, is now within this layer. Now if you want, you can get rid of this background layer. You really don't need it. And uh, now you could just output this layer to your inkjet printer or whatever you're using to image your positives with. Now the reason why this worked is because channels are actually grayscale documents. So when you copy a channel to a clip, the clipboard, you're actually copying grayscale information. So you're just pasting that grayscale inform information right into this single layer for easy output directly from Photoshop or any other graphics application such as uh, Illustrator or CorelDRAW. And that's it. That's how you uh, prepare a single color photographic image to print with white ink only on a dark t-shirt. Thanks a lot.